Hey, I'm Meredith with Texas Hay Net, and today I've got our round bell hay net with us and I want to show you just how easy it is to put on any bell that you might have at home, up from a 4x4 to a 6x6. And also this is the same way that you would put on our livestock hay net as well as our heavy gauge hay net. You put them all on the exact same way. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut off your twine or your bale wrap. It's really important to always cut those off first because that can cause major digestive problems if your horse or your cattle ingest that. To get started, all you're going to need, of course, is your, your round bale along with your round bale hay net. And there's basically two ways you can go about putting this net on. You can do it with or without a tractor. So if you don't have a tractor or a skidster, no worries, you don't need any heavy equipment to put this net on. So once you get your box open, the first thing you're gonna notice is that you've got a little baggie on the top. It's got a little instruction booklet in it along with some feeding tips, as well as a little bit of repair twine in there in case you, you get a hole or something that you might need to repair later on. And we're just gonna Pull it right out of the box. So once you get your net out of the box, you're just gonna wanna kinda unroll it almost like a sleeping bag. The easiest way to do it is just to sort of grab the yellow rope in your hand a little bit and then maybe grab a little bit down here and what you're going to want to do is just throw the net over the bale just like you would a blanket. Then once you get it on the bale you'll want to go around the bale and just drape the net kind of evenly all the way around the bale. Take your yellow rope again pull it back towards the other side of the bale just like you're putting a, a blanket or a little hat on it. So once you get your net draped evenly around your bale, you're gonna to wanna to look for the yellow rope on the ground and kind of make sure it's on the ground all the way around the bale. And then, so if you don't have a tractor, the next thing you're gonna do is just cinch this thing up at the drawstring. You can see it's got a little sliding mechanism. You're just gonna slide it like you would a drawstring bag or a drawstring purse. And you'll see the net get kind of tighter around the bale. And you may have to play with it a little bit and move it in, in different directions to get it the way you want it. Don't be afraid to pull tight on it. That's not gonna hurt it. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is tie some half hitch knots in this thing so that it doesn't come undone on you. Then once you got the rope secured the way you want it, just take that rope and stuff it right back up into the net. That'll help keep your rope inside the net and it won't be out floating around for your horses or your livestock to chew and play with. So once you've got your net on, the rope is secure and you've got it the way you want it, depending on what size bale you have, you may notice a little bit of um, extra loose netting or some slack. That's okay, don't worry about that. As the animals eat on the bale, the bale is gonna kind of explode inside the net. And so this is okay because as the hay starts to explode, you'll have a little extra room for that hay to kind of pillow out and it won't hurt a thing and the animals can still get all the hay they need without any problem. So the next thing you want to do is if you've got a tractor, this is the time when you'd want to go get your tractor, put your hay spear on and go ahead and spear your bale. You don't have to worry about your net. That spear is not going to hurt the net. It's nice and sturdy. Once you've got your bale lifted up in the air, the next thing you're going to want to do, pull this drawstring really snug and tight to get this net closed. You don't want to go up underneath the bale and cinch. You always want to stay kind of to the outside of the bale just for to be on the safe side. So once you kind of get this thing nice and snug the way you want it, you want to tie you some half hitches in there or some kind of knot to keep the rope snug and in place. And you can do this all the way down, or you can just do it halfway. I kind of like to do it halfway. And then once I get it where I want it, take that last one and just pull it all the way through so that the chain doesn't come apart. Then once you got your rope snug the way you want it, you take the rest of this excess rope cordage, tuck it back up underneath 
the bottom of the bale inside that net. If you have an overstuffed five by six or six by six bale, you may get what we call the donut hole when you're closing up your net. You wanna make sure that the donut hole is facing the ground with the bale sitting directly on top of it. That way your horses and livestock can't access the hole. So once you've got your bale back down on the ground where you want it, if you've got a feeder, this will be the time to go get your feeder and put your feeder over the bale. If you have any questions about this product or any of our other products, give us a call at 325-388-2727 or jump on the website, texashaynet.com and shoot us an email. Mm -hmm.